When I was young, I never saw my mother in the kitchen. The food always appeared as if by magic, all steaming and ready to eat. Lacey would serve them on these big white serving platters with a rim of rice, china, acorns. Our plates had the same rim. 22 acorns per plate, all about the size of a lump of chewing gum. When I was really little, I used to try to pry them up with my knife. We always started dinner at 8 o'clock sharp because my parents didn't start their cocktail hour until 7. And since dinner time was meant for sharing news of the day, the emphasis was always on talking and not eating. My father would eat his food and my mother would play with hers, scooping it up into little hills and then mashing it back down with her fork. To make matters worse, before we sat down at the dinner table, she'd always put on a fresh smear of lipstick. I still recall the shade. It was called Fire and Ice, a deep, throbbing red that would rub off on her fork in waxy clumps that stained her food pink, so that by the end of the first, first course, she would have this sort of rosy puree. I'd watch my father wolf down his mean vegetables, and I'd watch her thread this puree through the raised acorns. I could never eat a thing. Wake up, America, she trumpeted to me. You're not eating its use from that table until you've cleaned off that plate. So, I would take a few bites, and when no one was looking, I would spit them out into my napkin. Each night, I would systematically transfer everything on my plate into that life-saving napkin. So, wonder no one ever caught on. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, so this is a monologue I got from a grad student when I was getting my BA. She needed to direct a monologue and she asked me to do it and I did and it was great and I loved it um so obviously now it's one of those monologues that I kind of always have stuffed in my back pocket that I seem to always kind of be working on um <laughs> but yeah so there's a couple there's another monologue that I'm going to do next week um and then I think I'm going to go ahead and do a couple songs and then go from there um I just got a whole bunch of backing tracks so I have to work in, with them and organize them um, and probably uh, change the pitch on a couple of them to put them actually in my range um, as soon as I figure out how to do that because <laughs> I know how to do it but I'm having trouble with it um, so yeah so I'm working on all that um, and yeah so that's pretty much all I have um, like I said I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week, so.